Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Today, I have quite a bit of things to talk to you about. First, to let you know, my first two books are out. The two books are intended to help you ease into your new life because this is not just a lifestyle or phenomenon or thing. This is your opportunity for a brand new life. So when we talk about fresh starts, we are actually talking about getting rid of all the things that aren't working for you. Now, it is gradual, which is why it has already taken some people a few years. Why? You really aren't supposed to have a complete nervous breakdown, although people do end up at the hospital. They really do. So, you know, this is going to be a year for enough of the fluff and time to get down to business and really time to learn. So that's what I want to do. As you see, the board is blank right now. I'm going to fill it in. But we're going to start with a topic that is uh, something that everyone should know about, false twin and false energies. And false energies will be things that maybe pretended that they love you. Um, and there is a reason why you need to work on this. The reason has to do with harmony. The reason has to do with that there's two of you. So in an old paradigm setting, you could actually, you know, keep your walls up and everything. In the new life, there's no walls needed. Your heart and your love deflects things. But how do you get there? Okay. How do you how do you do it? How do you walk through and and you know be as though I'm sending light and love here, I'm sending light and love here, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And you're wondering about your twin flame, your true love, the actual real person that your heart is connected to. Okay. And this is how it is. So I did a video several years ago, and when my gifts really started blasting open in 2006, it was like, woo, this boom, bang. Some of you are going through that where things just feel like they're exploding out of you. And it gets a bit unwieldy, but let me tell you, it's going to be a lot easier this year. Why this year? This year is the time frame that has been on the cosmic schedule for having the star seeds be able to connect their subtle body connections. And it's entirely new. So it wasn't available two years ago in the same way. So this is actually the culmination of things that started in 2009. But the really big push, and this annoyed people when I said it, the incubation period is five to six years, okay? But some of you aren't taking into account that that five to six years ago actually started in 2012 or between 2012 to 2014. So your ascension and part of the wave that you're in actually goes, you want it to go like this, okay? You want it to be sort of like this, and you're there. Here's point A, here's point B. That's not how it goes. It goes like this. Okay. Now, if you were to stretch this out, this would actually take longer. But each one of these points, these are those hard pushes. This is an acceleration point. Okay. This is, this is when... You're getting shoved through the portal and you're saying, oh my God, this is so intense. And then these points here, these are usually the points where people say, but nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. Nothing happened. Okay. How many times did you set your alarm to get up for 11-11 or 11 p.m. on 11.11 or 1.11 or 9.9 uh, .9 or 8.8 .8 or something like that, okay? Those portals 
actually do happen. But when you're saying nothing happened, there is actually something that happens. There are actually things that happen for both of you because there's two people. There are two people in this union. So this is the other thing is that you need to take into account that there's you and there's your other half, okay? And, you know, however this is, you've been in relationship to everything out in the cosmos, okay? You've been in relationship to drinks, drugs, smoke. You've been in relationship to family. Okay? This is actually something that it should be. Okay? But how it's been is it has been one big tangled up mess. For some people where it's clouding everything okay it's like all tangled up in there and clouding up everything and you can't feel each other you can't see each other you want to break apart because this separation actually will yank these things away and but this throws people off because it will make them feel abandoned, rejected, um, uncomfortable, pain, purging, you name it. It happens. And there's some people that go through the whole, a whole gamut of stuff. They just literally go through so much stuff. It isn't even funny. It's physical and it's metaphysical. Now the reason that I am taking the time to show you this is because you need to engage your twin flame body so that these messes don't happen again. Because part of the reason that this is happening in the manner it is, is so that you see your triggers, you catch your triggers, you feel your triggers, or you feel the nuances, and the tangling up doesn't happen again. Okay, so if you're going down the street and someone's flirting with you and they're like, ooh, hey, hey, sexy, you're able to discern this person is looking for, for me to pay their bills. This person is looking for me to raise their children. They're talking sex and thinking money, or they're talking sex and thinking security, or they're talking love and they're thinking they don't really like men or women, but they just want someone around because they can't stand to be by themselves. There's a lot of people that have been so wounded and hurt that they don't even know where they are at, okay? And this is part of the big disentangling with false twins, especially at the cosmic level. Cosmic level false twins will feel like something. Okay? At the cosmic level, you have already lived as a fifth dimensional being, okay? You've already been there, but you've been tangled up just like your twin has. You cannot do an about face and say entirely to ditch this right now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it when we're going to hit the crest here. So there's a couple of other things I want to show you. And... I wrote this out, okay? So the first thing is, is that for a lot of people, this is going in the kind of waves that you might feel the wave, okay? And yet you are a part of this wave. So these are the waves. These are actually these, these stair steps that I'm illustrating to you here where you go up, you go this way, and you are walking the tightrope between this life and this life. It's a very thin, very delicately balanced point between one level and another level. You're in a transit. 
quite simply, you are you have been in this Uranus retrograde transit for a longer time than you may realize and a longer time than what the astrologers actually map out. It has been a four to five to six year process for a lot of people. And you are coming out of that transit. Now, what's a transit? It can feel very wavy. You know what I compare it to? I compare it to being on a night train or on a cruise ship. You're on it. You're in it. You're already in it. You're already a part of it. But you're bringing in not your fragmented soul. Some people have what they feel are fragments of their soul. But there are parts of you that you have left in places. You can only integrate so much at a time. The Pallades, Orion. This is what the Lion's Gate closed. The Lion's Gate closed out all of the stuff from... The Pallades, that was bad, okay? The Lion's Gate closed out all of the stuff from the Pallades. Orion, Mars, all of the things that have happened, and Earth. Earth from the third, the fourth, and the fifth dimension. Many of you are just starting to release your fourth dimensional levels of living here on Earth and in some other places such as Mars. Mars may not be a memory for you, but behaviors and wounds, those will be sometimes on people, in people. They may not be aware of it. Where did I get this from? Why do I have it? I can't connect who was I at a cosmic level. I help people with that. I help you to round out the picture to see who you are and get those answers so that you yourself are able to be free of it. Now, this happened at the fifth dimensional level. What does it take to heal fifth dimensional wounds? It takes a ninth dimensional healer. So I am working above this from 90. And yes, I had to get myself up and running to be able to do that. That took actually the better part of 10 months to be able to not only make my foothold, but to integrate the higher connections that I need in order to help people to heal this, to heal their psyche, because this is these are the things that wound the psyche. The psyche is how you feel your twin, and it is connected to your cosmic heart. Now, this is going to be these. It will include soulmate release. Who are some of these soulmates? They are false twins to you. You're going to release soulmates. Now, this doesn't mean that you're never friends with people again. But it is a good idea to isolate for a while while you clear, while you get clear, while you get clear and get away. The first closure, okay, that already started happening a few months back. It's been happening at every Lions Gate. The Lion's Gate of 2019 is going to be very different because a lot of people just won't deal with some of the stuff that they've been dealing with since that time. Now, the solstice that's coming up for June is going to be very significant. Okay. Now, some of the um, other things to be aware of are that, let me just say it this way, this entire process is not about the wedding, it's about the marriage, okay? For twin flames, your divine marriage through the subtle bodies, please get your channels open. So come and join my webinar, the links are below, come and have a session with me where I will not only help you to clear and get open. I am, I cut through the chase. We are able to accomplish some things within four sessions that it takes people sometimes years of therapy. Now I'm not against people getting other therapies and modalities. However, I am saying to you that this is 
me doing this from a ninth dimensional level, which trims down the time, ideally trims down your expenses with it. Because all of this stuff is something that you're expected to maintain. The gift is the new light body. It is about your divine marriage, the part that holds you together. And yes, it is physical. So I want to debunk a couple of things that get said out there. You are here to physically be with your true love. If you're carrying around stuff from past lives, it's not going to be conducive for you. Okay? So this is going in waves on purpose, partly because some of you are from, you're star seated from different places. Okay? There are three phases for waves one, two, and three. You meet, the, many times this, for the majority of a lot of people, now mind you, there are still people that are not awakened yet. Yet, everyone here is going to go through the twin flame process if they want the new light body. That's the gift that's being available here. Santa brought it. Okay, so you meet. The next steps are you purge, you bridge. You bridge, you have to bridge yourself to the new dimension. Some of you are still on those stair steps. You have to elevate yourself, you have to elevate your situations. People in your family, you will notice, they will elevate sometimes almost by default. Where the things that you're doing somehow seems to pull. That's a real thing. That's not something you're imagining. So if you're ditching people, if you're saying, my parents are evil, they're toxic. Maybe they're just a product of their generation. Be willing to be a good heart that gives the same second chances that you're given or the third chances, or the fourth chances. Because whatever is embedded in you, it's going to come out. And those are not attacks. Sometimes that's just your own crap or the crap that your twin, and, you know, if you did it, your twin did it, it comes up and out. Meaning it doesn't stay with you. It's not attacking you. It's actually on the way out. Your cosmic and joint connections, okay, and re-encountering, there are parts that you have to do, you have to align, and you have to work with your causal bodies. This is something that is not a passive thing. You have to actively do things. There are ways to use essential oils, which I teach, and I will be teaching in the webinar about it. So come to my webinar. Um... You have waves that are more than they seem. You have soulmates from the same group of spirits. You've had people who have been marrying and marrying the same people from the same tribe in repetitive lives with the same repetitive stuff. It's hard to let go of those patterns. And you see this in modern culture where this ethnicity always marries within its ethnicity or this religion always marries within its religion. And for the majority of people, it will still be this way. But there are some people who are collapsing those dualities. It takes a very highly, uh, not evolved person, but it takes someone with a lot of soul experience. Not every star seed has the levels of experience because things go by experience. It doesn't go by one's better, one's worse. It's almost like, you know, someone who's been on the job a little bit longer and it's tedious. But they kind of know the ins and outs. And other people get some, you know, newly hired on a job. You have had a lot of intermingling, blending with the angelic races. Okay. You've had long-term marriages at earth level. And up until now, many people have been unawakened. You also have the group of people, the uh, ones from Atlantis. Okay. Atlantis. That was like the buck stops here. We can't do this anymore. We've had the last problem we're ever going to have time to reboot. And, you know, so there's a lot of people from that time who quite literally have been waiting 10,000, 20,000 years 
reincarnating through cycles and cycles of lives with the same soulmates from the same group of souls. And it's time for you to be with your true love. So yes, there is a plan. There is a schedule for the plan. The schedule is this year. I don't want to hear that you're feeling better and that you're going to give up at this point and just go out and go back to the same old thing. Don't do it. Hang in here for your twin. You are encouraged to do this. Now, we are going to cover how to get rid of false twins. Okay? False twins, if they are hung on to, they will make you sick. Okay? Instead of well. So if you're not able to see what the red flags are with a false twin, it's time to come see me. And what we focus on is let's get you back to comfort level. Let's get you back to a level where you feel good because someone may just be from that same cosmic level, but you're not going to fit together anymore. What are some of the telltale signs if you've had a false twin or if your twin does? It could be you're sick, you have a chronic illness, um, someone's hanging on to something, you have skin eruptions, you go into depression, you uh, feel a very low level, uh, low energy, you're not quite depleted. Um, some of the other ways will be with organ fatigue. So you will need to not only get your energies moving, get them clear, but you will need to get yourself back up again. So when you are in these states of having, you know, you come up, you're over. Whoops, the pen is dying. Up and over, okay? This may feel like you plateaued, but this is not a plateau. This is where you have to, at each and every point, do your new life. New life, not new lifestyle, not I'm going to exercise more. New life means you have a new body, a new love, building your romance, deepening your sense of adventure, deepening your passion, being together, real true togetherness. And you will see some things go topsy-turvy later in the year as we approach July and August. You will see it. Now, I also have a um, full moon for the lunar eclipse, full moon meditation going on. Um, the link is going to be below. And I would like you to join. It's going to, I'm going to um, have it where the most people that can come and have my energies help you, the better. We get what's called synergism. Synergism is when you have people that have the same heartfelt sentiment all kind of moving in the same direction. We call it consciousness, but it's actually an energy, and it's called synergism. That's what I want to create so that you feel better because I get that with my life groups, people leave and then they say, Patricia was sort of a letdown. Yes, because when there is a, a group energy, there is a synergistic effect, but it still doesn't trump, you know, it gets trumped by your twin flame love. I'm all about the love. I am all about seeing people together. I am all about people having romance and fun and kissing and hugging. And that's what some of you are saying. By the time you feel better and your nerves feel better and the garbage is out and you've purged and you're eating healthy, of course you're feeling better. You want to be touched. That desire is there for a reason. But honor your divine marriage because it's not just about brushing off with just anyone, okay? It's about your divine marriage and putting yourselves together. So I hope that you can join, join my webinar. Also, my book is out. My book that is 
I have two books. The first book is called Your Subtle Body Connections. Okay. And the other one is called Twin Flame Ascension and Breath. Okay, so these are my two books. There's also some helpful webinars down below, um, Catching Your Spirit Body. If you have a false twin and you want to um, connect yourself, and there are several exercises and a meditation in there to help you do that and to help release things at the cosmic level, get it. Check out my web store. It is at TwinFlameBody.com. Um, I'm adding things in there that are going to be helpful for you. You can email me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. I do sessions. I do energy sessions and help people. And one of those is a breath session. I do a causal body session. And it's educational. You get a recording, you get uh, some homework, because I send you away with homework to help you to ease into it in the next couple days. Because what happens in the session usually lasts, it, you go through it for about two days, and you feel better. You always will feel better. So I have these things available. Check out my website at TwinFlamesMerge.com. Please subscribe. And check me on Instagram. Instagram is where I'm putting some uh, more timely things just because it's quicker and to let you know how the energies are. So as we are heading towards um, full moon, uh, some of the things that, you know, uh, people are wondering, well, what's going to happen? These are portals. This is a portal energy. And with every eclipse, I'll tell you what it tends to be. It tends to be unplug something so that something else can be plugged in. So that some kind of upgrade can happen. But it's weird sometimes. It's weird. And yet I have the things here to help you with this. Because you were once a 5D being. You and your twin both were. You've lived together in other lives. You may not recall that. But togetherness has been one of the requirements for meeting each other here again. You have to have that recognition. So thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more and have a wonderful day. Bye.